Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought it might be interesting to show you what it's like to spend a day microdosing on, on magic mushrooms, on psilocybin cubensis. These mushrooms have healing properties. They allow you deep introspection. They allow you to see yourself so very clearly and see the world and see your position in it. Magic mushrooms can possibly explain the missing link, the stoned ape theory. I think this is by Terence McKenna and Joe Rogan talks about it a bit, where the apes come down, have come down our ancestors from the canopies, from the trees in Africa, and migrated north through through the plains, through the fields. And what's in the fields is buffalo. And what do buffalo do? They shit. And what grows in cow shit? Magic mushrooms. In recent studies, magic mushrooms have been shown to increase visual acuity, they repair hearing, and they also create new neurological pathways in the brain, which just makes absolute sense with my personal experience, um, where the mushrooms have shown me all of my previous patterns and I've been able to create new ones as a direct result of the mushrooms. I didn't know how it worked, but there are studies on it now. I think they've been done in California. Only in the last two years. So anyway. I have just seen my friend. My new friend, my awesome new friend. Obviously can't mention names, um, which is really unfortunate because I wish I could just tell everyone where to get these things, where to get this medicine, but I can't because I'll go to jail, because he'll go to jail. What I have here is three grams of psilocybin cubensis. So I'm gonna do under a gram today. So I've just made some cheese and crackers. I've got some lemon mineral water. Um, I don't actually have scales, so I'm just gonna let the universe tell me how much I need. <laughs> So I've just left the house and I've started walking to the gym. All week I've kind of had, like I've been having trouble breathing through my nose. I've been a bit congested. Now I can really breathe, like deeply. I feel very calm and centered. And it's this feeling like right, right here. I don't know, it feels very light and I feel very clear. And even just walking, I feel very light on my feet. I feel like I blend into the world very well. Normally I feel like I stick out like a sore thumb and I'm very self, very self-conscious, but lately it's the exact opposite. Like, like where I'm meant to be and everything's okay, like I just walked past that guy there and couldn't care less that I'm recording right now. Well normally I'd be so self-conscious of that, so it's just little things. to see better because I noticed that I could feel everything like just the wind on my legs for example it just feels really nice it makes you feel like a little kid again because things get a little strange and it's sort of like the world is new again and you are forced to deal with whatever comes because you don't know what's coming. Actually so many people here for a Sunday. I was actually I was coming here on a Sunday hoping that it would be quiet for them. There's more people than ever. Yay! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Alice in Wonderland -y right now. It's all kind of shifting in and out of focus. Everything's very crystal clear and crispy. I can't help but have these um, introspective thoughts about um, about our existence. Even while tripping, even on mushrooms, it's like, um, you know, it's not... I don't have all the answers, I'm not happy all the time, I'm not... I don't have it all figured out, and it gets weird, and you still feel bad, and you feel good, and it, it's all... It just sort of makes me realise, like... We are the creators of our own universe. You know, we choose to be happy, we choose to be sad, we create our lives, we create every aspect of our lives. I think it's a bit of a joke. I think the, the ultimate answer is there is no answer. Life is just what it is. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just it is whatever you make it, it can be good and it can be bad, but we have all of the aspects on that spectrum. And um, you know, death is probably the same. <laughs> death is, like, I obviously have no idea, but these are just feelings and thought. I think we create this life, I think we are the gods of this universe. More than we ever really thought we were, like, truly. I think we choose to come here to live this life and I truly believe we are ultimately 100% responsible for every aspect of our being, of our life, of our happiness. We have complete control of that, undeniable complete control of our existence. It's just how I feel. Yeah, so a bit of a weird synchronicity with you. I decided to microdose today because I was feeling a bit like, <clears throat> girl, you may have to go on your own on this. And I was, I was a bit sad and feeling kind of alone in general, to be honest with you. <sighs> I don't want to cry, but I feel like I'm going to cry. God, I'm just like not connecting right now. Like, what is happening with <laughs> With everyone and with me. Um, I'm in my heart and my intuition and everything has just been saying stop worrying and just focus on doing this work and putting this out there and just sharing your experience, uh, sharing these psychedelic experiences. And that's what my heart has just been telling me. It was weird and I, and I just accepted it. And the more I accepted it and the more I was just like, okay, you know what, it's all right. Just keep focusing on your work. Yeah. And I was about to go to bed and just sort of ride off today. And then you messaged that to me. And it was just like, well, <laughs> damn. <laughs> well, fuck yeah. That's incredible. That's exactly what I want to do. That's exactly what I want to do. I totally want to produce a podcast with you. And I want to do it with 
someone else and someone on this level and uh, it, it was just it just felt so good to hear and I really do feel so valued like there's people who actually make it happen and put it together and stuff like that you're a lot more of like I guess a go-getter than I am and, and that's like totally necessary you know to, to make things actually happen you actually care about it and you're you know, you have like passion and stuff like that. Like, even if I'm kind of like, I'm passionate on the inside, but then I'll just be like, yeah, well, I guess that's not happening. <laughs> like, I'm so glad you see that. The main thing that I ever learned on psychedelics was the accumulation of action. Action, action. <clears throat> and mm -hmm. inaction as well. Same thing. Yeah. 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 So that was my biggest lesson. And that is the, the reason why I'm a quote-unquote go-getter. I'm just a doer because I know what not doing does. <laughs> but like, you you could do it by yourself. Like, you absolutely could. But I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you, girl. I appreciate you too, boo. This is just a dream. What do you say? I know this is a dream. I know this is a dream. Talk right. to you later. Have a good night. This is my human experience and thank you for sharing yours with me.